Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host. And today our special guest is Mike White. And uh, there's a lot of you here today, uh, probably because of this great title, Top 10 Hidden Features and Unique Functions in SAP Business One. Mike, you should be receiving this uh, notification. And welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. All right. Thank you, Carl. Appreciate it. So what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to keep this pretty brief, but we're going to go through and look at some of the um, some of the hidden features of Business One, and, and it's not necessarily that they're they're hidden. They're just not uh, talked about and often forgotten. Um, and some of the tips and tricks that are available. And uh, in my experience, sometimes the uh, you know it's those little things that can add some of the most value uh, to the solution. So we're going to look at uh, some global language support, uh, uh, how to leverage alternate items, how to hard allocate from a sales order. Um, how to uh, actually automatically create all of your packaging uh, in a delivery document, um, streamlining the pick and pack manager with some user defined fields. We're going to look at uh, how reoccurring transactions has, uh, has grown and morphed into something that's uh, really become pretty powerful. We'll look at the Outlook drag and drop, uh, copy and paste. You can completely fill out a grid, how to schedule custom reports for delivery and then some uh, grid expansion enhancements that have been done. So let's start with uh, global language support. To illustrate that, I'm going to open up and I'm going to bring up an item. And when you turn on the global language support, which is a, a setting in administration system initialization, uh, it adds this little icon to a field. So when you click on a field, just about any field, uh, you'll see this this globe and what that means is that you can click on that globe and it will allow you then to store uh, data in that particular field in multiple languages and so there's a drop down list with all the supported languages now it doesn't actually convert the description for you uh, so this is where I had to rely on Google Translate to, to put the uh, appropriate description in there for me but it does allow you to store uh, data uh, in one field uh, in in multiple languages. Now um, that information is stored in the system. So of course, if you need to uh, add it into a uh, uh, let's say a, a quote or an order or something through the print layout designer or Crystal Reports, it's stored in a table and, and it's it's pretty easy to uh, connect the links to uh, to get to that data. So. That's the first thing. So you can turn 